Hello, welcome back. This next video in my Morgan Three Wheeler Workshop series is about how to put the swinging arm back in, how to adjust the trunnion shafts to reduce or to, to eliminate any free play in the bearings and how to wire up the trunnion shafts so there's no chance of them coming undone. If you want to see all my other videos, don't forget, subscribe, click playlists. So there's our trunnion shaft ready to go back in and as you can see liberally coated with copper slip and I've also put a good coating of copper slip around the inside of the chassis where it screws in. When the trunnion shafts are screwed in and you've got them in more or less equal amounts on each side come to the back and just check for that movement in the swinging arm. The movement you've seen there represents approximately one turn on one of those trunnion shafts. When you have screwed it in sufficiently to just and only just remove all of the free play from the swinging arm, then just tighten it further one flap of the hexagon and no more. That will provide a slight preload to the taper roller bearings and that preload will mean that as temperatures change and the chassis expands and contracts you won't get any free play occurring. Don't however over tighten it because we don't want the swinging arm to be that, that welded fabricated swinging arm to be under undue stress all the time. So just one flat on the hexagon. We can see that the trunnion pins for the swinging arm have been screwed into place, all the slack's been taken out, little half turn to pre-tension the tapered rollers, the stainless steel locking rings or nuts have been replaced with mild steel ones which will not gall up and weld themselves onto the pins or the trunnions and to make sure nothing goes amiss the end of the trunnion shaft itself has been wired to the chassis member or the, the, the support from the chassis that holds the petrol tank up. 